This is the Sensodyne SenseAlert Plus gas detection transmitter. It has a really cool feature that I'm going to show you today called Test On Demand or TOD. It has a cell that actually emits amount of gas to show that your sensor is either dead or alive. Up top here is your electronics housing and down below is your sensor housing that the test on demand cell also resides in. So to access that port you unscrew the bottom here. I'm going to rotate it. On the bottom of the sensor housing there are some guide pins to assist you with where to put the gas sensor whether it be oxygen, toxic, or combustible gas sensor. And on the bottom of it you can see these smaller pins for the actual TOD or test on demand cell. This is what the TOD cell looks like. You can get about 300 tests per cell. So you slide it right onto these smaller pins here. Snap it into place. Now that we have successfully installed our test on demand cell, I'm going to go through a manual initiation to show you the performance of the device. So with my magnetic screwdriver I'm going to go into the menu and scroll down to test on demand. At this point you can decide whether you want your 4 to 20 milliamp active or not active. By not activating it you won't send the false alarm that we're about to create. So we'll leave it that way. You can see that the test is in progress. In the middle of the screen it says live with the number to the right of that that will count up as the gas is emitted from the TOD cell waiting on the sensor to either respond or not respond. Then you will receive either a TOD pass or TOD fail. This whole process should take one to two minutes. And there you have it, TOD pass. The test on demand cell successfully emitted the gas and the sensor itself saw the gas. Everything's in working order. So if we go back to the main screen here, you can see that the H2S number is decreasing as the test has been completed and the gas dissipates. Once we've reached zero, we are back into normal operation.